Welcome back to the Introduction to React course. In this video we'll talk about forms. More specifically, how to implement forms using React. Form elements like input, text area, select and others are a little bit different from conventional DOM elements because they have their own inner state. As we know, React also has its state management mechanisms. Because of that, React implements additional features on these form elements to allow us to control their state using the React mechanisms. If you don't want that, you can also use these inputs as you would normally in HTML, as uncontrolled components. Because of that, there are two ways to implement forms in React, with controlled components and uncontrolled components, and we'll explore both, starting with controlled. Having a controlled form input means that its value will be a React state variable and we will be able to modify and read it at any point. I have a form here with three fields. Notice that the for attribute on labels in JSX is denoted as HTML4. This is because for is a reserved word in JavaScript. It's the same case as class being replaced by class name. I will define a state variable for my name field and set the value of my field as that state variable. This is half of the work done. The next thing I have to do is attach an on change event which will fire every time the value of the input changes and that event has to also set my state variable to the new value of the input. The input will work normally and you might think I have accomplished pretty much nothing with this. But that's not true. The state of the input is now stored in this state variable instead of within the internals of the input. This means that I can modify or read it at any time. Let's for example output it in a paragraph before the input. As you can see as I write the state variable also updates. This input is now controlled. I can also make my text area a controlled component. Usually in normal HTML the text area content is defined by its children. In React a text area uses a value attribute instead. This allows me to make the input controlled the same way I did with the text input. I can also make this select a controlled component. I just create a state variable and then on change modify the state variable. Usually the selected option is marked as checked with an attribute, but React allows the usage of value on the parent select so that it can be turned into a controlled input easily. You can also pass an array into the value of the select if it is a multi select and multiple values are currently selected. These are now controlled components and I can write a handler on the form on submit to send the data to the appropriate service. I can get the values of the fields because they are stored in state variables. If a file input is needed in the form however, it cannot be a controlled component because its value is read only. In that case, it will need to be an uncontrolled component. Uncontrolled form components is how these input elements behave normally without managing their state in React, so you already know how they function. I can remove all these state variables and the inputs are now uncontrolled. I will need to read their values at submit and one way to do that is by using refs. I will set up refs for each of my inputs, set the ref attribute to each of them and now I can access the value on submit using the ref. This is one way to do it. But there is another approach which I consider more elegant using form data. I will set the name attribute on each of my form fields and in the submit handler of the form I will just create a new form data object. This form data object has all of the values of the form fields. If I need I can convert it to a normal JavaScript object using object from entries and if I console log it you will see it contains all of the submitted data from the form. This is much less cold and more elegant than using refs. You should use a form with controlled components whenever you need to modify or read form values outside of the form event submit handler. If you need to just submit a conventional form and read the values of the fields only in the submit event handler, an uncontrolled form with a form data object is a clean and performant way to implement that. This wraps it for today's video. You learned how to create forms in React with controlled and uncontrolled components. In the next video I plan to talk about React context. Stay tuned.